Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about a potential trade for the Dallas Mavericks and Detroit Pistons that would land the Dallas Mavericks, Bojan Bogdanovic, small forward slash power forward, who Detroit has been looking to move since the trade, or before the trade deadline, and, you know, potentially uh, will be moved soon, and I think don't think he will play for the Pistons next year. And the Dallas Mavericks have been one of the multiple teams that have emerged to be one of the favorites to land the small forward. Uh, but the recent news about Boyan Bogdanovich has been is that uh, reported by uh, NBA. Well, it's on, you know, I got the, the reason I found out about it was getting an alert on my phone about, you know, you know, the, the, you know, on the Bleacher Report NBA rumors. But, um, what basically what it says is that ESPN's Tim McMahon, I hope I said that right, uh, heard some rumblings about the Mavs revisiting trade talks with the Pistons to land Bojan Bogdanovic, and Mavs could revisit the Bojan Bogdanovic talks, uh, potentially get a trade done. And I think Bojan would be a great fit for them. I mean, Dallas has already upgraded their roster so much this year, you know, going in, you know, to the next season. They've drafted Derek Levely. Uh, they traded for Rashawn Holmes. They got rid of Davis Bertans. Um, they signed Seth Curry. They signed Grant Williams. They drafted Olivier, Olivier Maxine Prosper, who I think has some decent potential. Probably won't play that much for Dallas next year, but still has some decent potential. And they've made another couple other solid moves. They re-signed Dwight Powell. Um, but I don't think Dallas is done. And... I think this could be the last move Dallas could make that really makes their team good next year. I mean, I think Dallas is going to be good next year, regardless if they don't do anything else, because I think Dallas has improved their roster, really, really improved their roster this year. Um, and especially a full year with Kyrie and Luka with some of the other guys they've brought in, I think Dallas will be way better next year. But this move, I think, will make it even better. Here's the trade I have landing to get Bojan Bogdanovic in Dallas with... Luca and Kyrie to be a great fit. Not only solid defender, but you know, good three point shooter, good score would be that third scoring option next to Luca and Kyrie. And they also have Derek Lively the second. Uh, you got Garrett Williams as well. You have Seth Curry off the bench, Jaden Hardy, Josh Green off the bench, Rashawn Holmes, Dwight Powell off the bench as well. The Mavs team is stacked if you do this deal. Uh, but so they to to get the. The starting small forward averaged 22 points per game this shooting this season on 41 percent from three. Also averaged four rebounds and three assists per game, and shot 88 percent at the free throw line and 50 percent uh, from from field goal. Um, I have a trade that would send Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. A shooting guard who mostly was starting for Dallas last season, played a little bit off the bench, but was mostly starting. Averaged near 15 points per game, two assists, uh, four rebounds, and 39% from three. Um, and I think he'd be a really good addition for Detroit. I don't know where he fits in. I think he'd most likely come off the bench. I mean, there's, I mean, you got both guys starting at the, you know, starting with Jaden and you have Jaden starting at the one and Cade starting at the two. I guess he could maybe start at three, although I doubt it. Um, or no, because you have a SAR. Uh, you have a SAR now. And then, um, so I don't think, yeah, most likely he'll come off the bench. And I don't know where this where he fits in because they've added in some other guards. They've added in Joe Harris and Monte Morris. But I think Tim Hardaway Jr. would be another good veteran experienced guy, good shooter. They've added in good three-point shooters, Monte Morris and Joe Harris to add in another good three-point shooter. Uh, in Tim Hardaway Jr. And then also I have them adding in in this trade, getting JaVale McGee, a, guy, a center who averaged four and three this year. Uh, had some connections actually to, um, to he has some connections to, um, to Monty Williams, the new Detroit Pistons head coach. I don't know if this will get him to potentially stay on the roster, which maybe he does. Maybe he is able to stay, who knows? Um, but I mean, the he was on the he was on the Suns in the twenty one twenty two season played seventy six games seventeen starts actually played really well that season with the Suns uh, stepped up in, you know some time where Aiden was was you know was hurt and did really well for them and was solid off the bench or starting as he started almost twenty games for them and you know we've seen Monty maybe desiring to bring in some former players he had interest in. 
you know, potentially trading for Bridges, had interest in signing Cam Johnson. Both guys are staying in Brooklyn. And I'm not saying, you know, like Monty openly wants JaVale McGee. But, you know, speaking of, you know, that, you know, he he coached JaVale. Um, maybe he would want JaVale McGee to stay. But at the same time, McGee's not going to get any any minutes. I mean, they have, look at all the centers. They have James Wiseman. Looks like he's going to have a great season. They have Jalen Duran. Uh, they have a couple. Uh, they have uh, Isaiah Stewart. I think most likely if McGee stays on Detroit, which honestly I don't see him staying in Detroit. Uh, if this trade happens, most likely I see him getting released or bought out. I'm probably just released or waived, but potentially if he were able to stay, I just see him being like a good veteran, experienced guy. He has a lot of. He's 35 years old. He has a lot of experience in the NBA as a center uh, throughout his what probably 15 year, 15, 14 seasons in the NBA, and I think he'd have you know would be a good mentor to some of those younger guys that don't have a lot of you know years in the NBA like Stewart, Duran. And and Wiseman, although I don't see that happening, I, I I think McGee would probably be moved. But that's not all. They get Hardaway Jr. and JaVale McGee. But also, I have uh, Dallas sending two second-round picks, picks to Detroit at 2025 and 2030 second-round picks. So D- Detroit, gets, Detroit gets Tim Hardaway Jr., JaVale McGee, and two second-round picks, 2025 and 2030, and then... Dallas gets Bojan Bogdanovic. You look at Dallas, look at their starting lineup would be you have Kyrie at the one, Luke at the two, Bojan Bogdanovic at the three. I think Grant Williams would start at the four. And then I'm just guessing it would probably be a center competition between uh, Rashawn Holmes and Derek Lively the second. Uh, I'm assuming that most likely, probably, um, Rashawn Holmes starts off the season as the starting center. Probably Derek Lively turns into being the starting center. Uh, so you got Luke at the one. You got Kyrie at the two. I mean, sorry, sorry, mix it up there. Kyrie at the one, Luke at the two, Boyan at the three, at the four, Grant Williams at the five, Rashawn Holmes off the bench, Seth Curry, Josh Green, Jaden Hardy. Uh, who am I missing? Jaden Hardy and. Also, uh, Dwight Powell and Derek Lively the second. Also have some other guys like Olivier Maxine's Maxine's Prosper and a couple other guys uh, that should be decent for them. I think Dallas would be really good. I could see Dallas being maybe a, a top six team in the in the Western Conference if they are able to pull off a trade to land Boyan Bogdanovich and have a starting lineup of of Kyrie, Luca, Boyan, Grant Williams, and either Rashawn Holmes or. Uh, Derek Lively the second at the center position. Here's my thoughts on the potential trade for the Dallas Mavericks. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.